the area you talk about um, is what we call the scholarship of teaching and learning. And teaching needs to be a scholarly activity. Teaching has a whole science and art behind it. Um, and the scholarship of teaching and learning is one of our strategic fundamentals in the network of quality in teaching and learning. So teaching should not only be student or learner centered, but it also, also should be research led. And um, we are working a lot around this area of publication uh, and research around our teaching. We give um, scholarship of teaching and learning grants to faculty. These are small grants of about $5,000 for a year. Um, we hope it encourages collaboration uh, for faculty and also reflective practice so that they generate new knowledge from the geographies in which we live in uh, around how to engage the learner around teaching innovations in the classroom. Um, and we've been uh, giving about $15,000 a year for the past four years. Um, and, and we also see publications coming out of, those, out of those grants. Every other year, we run a biennial scholarship of teaching and learning conference. Um, and that's been uh, very successful. We regularly get about 25% of our faculty engaged. We try and use blended learning approaches so that even if it's held in Pakistan, East African faculty can engage in the conference. We see increasing numbers of publications and we are seeing, we've just run our, I guess, third biennial conference. And we've seen that faculty are increasingly putting out publications. In fact, we did a paper with the library in which we have seen over the last five years uh, a huge increase in scholarship of teaching and learning publications from AKU. So um, we are having a, an impact already in the literature. And our last conference, um, we were invited uh, to actually put together a special edition um, from some of our papers for a peer-reviewed journal called uh, Sotl in the South, Scholarship of Teaching and Learning in the South. So um, research on teaching is, is mission critical for us because I think that also gives us um, the gravitas around teaching being a scholarly activity. Um, so yes, research publication is all part of good teaching. Uh, it's part of reflective practice.